It almost looks like a snake pit. Though it won't kill you as quick as a serpent, they're actually lead service lines, perhaps 90 to 100 years old. This pile represents about 10 homes in the city of Newark, which continues its replacement program. On Thursday, workers could be found on Lake Street, next to Branchbrook Park. This is the home of Juan and Nelba Guerra. Darius News first saw the couple in August as they carried water bottles distributed by the city. Five weeks later, they now found relief. The uh, workers are uh, taking care of the lead line and the homeowners. Um, tell me what you think about the fact that it's being done now. Do you feel safer now? Do you feel that you don't have to worry about health now that the lead well, pipes are right gone? Now, right now, right now, I feel much better. Yes, because um, every time I have to cook or or take a bath is is uh, is is worry because it's lead is a poison. How do you feel about the fact that it turns out you're not going to have to pay for it? Oh, well, this is the the best news because yeah. uh, we're retired yeah. and we live only in our um, social security check, so yeah. it's very it's very difficult for us to pay one thousand dollars. According to the city of Newark, volunteers will visit all 18,000 homes in the Pequannock service area that's impacted by lead service lines. As previously announced, Newark said it will borrow $120 million to expedite the replacement program. Officials have emphasized that when water leaves the reservoir, there are no problems with lead. As the water makes its way south to Newark, it travels through pipes, such as this one over the Passaic River, and eventually enters homes, frequently through lead pipes that may be 90 to 100 years old. The Garras believe their house was built around 1918. That was the year World War I ended. Though concerned about their landscaping, they say they are satisfied with the work. The people are working very nice. It's very fast and very, very friendly people and very professional. Very I, feel, I feel very good. I, I am very relieved. Uh, about the worry about the water. I, I was very, very surprised that the fact that they, they did first to decide to do the job and second one was to implement it. It was right, right here. We were surprised. And, and very, very, they are very professional and they come in early. I feel it much better yeah, for the people who's coming to my house. I said, I say, especially for my grandchildren. I have a grandchildren and it's a condition and we had to take care of all his health. Next door to the Guerra family, however, is Lauren Samuel, who has lived here for five years. In April, her lead test revealed bad news. Her reaction to the revelation? Surprise. Um, you just don't know what's in your water. And until I got the water results, which the city um, did for free, um, it let me know that my levels were double the EPA limits. Were you concerned about your health or had you been um, previously using filters and or um, bottled water? I was absolutely concerned about my health. Um, I do primarily drink bottled water, um, but after finding out, I definitely got filters. Um, I'm now getting free uh, four cases of water free from the city. Um, so I'm helping to mitigate the problem. I also bought a shower filter as well. I expect that my lead water lines will be replaced. Thankfully, coming from inside the house to the water meter, the uh, pipes are copper, but from uh, under the ground and going to the main, the pipes are most likely lead. So I expect that the uh, city will arrange for it to be replaced. Do you have a set date or approximate set date? Not as yet. I did get a uh, lead line inspection today, so I'm hoping within the next week um, I'll be scheduled and they'll replace the line. Okay. Samuel believes her house is also about 90 to 100 years old. As for the Guerra home, the entire water line from the street to inside their home was replaced. A bigger and more extensive process than most jobs for contractors. According to a Newark spokeswoman, as of today, quote, nearly 900 water lines have been replaced out of a total of 18,000 that require attention. A contractor told Darius News that winter weather will not impact their work and they expect to continue well into 2020. And on Monday, Mayor Ross Baraka will host a town hall event at NJ NJPAC that he's calling the State of Water. Reporting from Newark, Cesar Darius.